Hello YouTube, uh, my name is Nivea with Twisty Kinks Natural Hair Locks. Um, I'm coming at you with uh, a new hairstyle that I'm about to do. It's kind of like a half halo, um, half curly waterfall in the back. So I'm just going to show you my braid pattern real quick and then I'll come back and um, show you uh, the overall finish look. Um, this is my braid here and uh, I'm going to be placing that here. Uh, for a half halo it will actually be two of those and the hair that I used to do that was the Moki hair because it's just a uh, short hair okay so I showed you the hair and you can see here I have two um, braids that are not connected to the rest of my head and the excess hair I just um, pull that through as you can see that here and it slides I don't know if you can kind of see that but it slides so that if I need to take the front of it down and just redo the front two braids I can do that Okay, so after going back and looking at this, I realized that I needed to go get some better light so that you can see uh, exactly what it is that I have going on. So I'm going to show you braid around one more time so that you can see a little bit more in depth uh, now that I have more light. And then we'll look at uh, the type of hair that I'm using for this style. So like I was saying um, earlier, I have two not connecting braids here. And that is so that if I need to take down the front, because you know we got to keep them edges laid, honey, um, I could take that down without any problem. Because I'm doing a crochet braid in the back. So I don't anticipate having to do anything with that. But um, because it's a halo braid, you know, and you want your front to be slick and stuff like that, I did it so that, you know, every couple days, not every couple days, that would be bad. Uh, <laughs> every couple of weeks you know or something like that I could just take down the front and rebraid it and um, make it look neat up front and everything and still have my crochet braid in the back so that was the reason why um, I had this where it can slide out so you can see so it slides out so that I could pull that out take the braid down um, redo it and then all I have to do is just pull it back through again uh, like I showed you earlier with my crochet hook and so the back of my head I proceeded to do that in a uh, circle pattern you heard me say attempted right okay so I attempted to do that I started over here on this side 
uh, right here. And this braid starts my uh, crown braid or sucker braid. It goes. This is my face when this keep cutting me off in the middle of me talking. So I don't know where I stopped it just sticking ago. Alright. So. Connecting. So that I could take it down. Take down the front. I just pulled this up under it. So that if I take down the front braids. I could just pull this through. And then also I pulled it through. So that right here. When I put my halo on. Uh, the waterfall will kind of cascade over the uh, halo braid kind of camouflaging it because I'm just going to pin that down and you can see that uh, I brought that around and just tucked it in right here with my um, crochet hook alright so moving right along let's get to the hair okay so the hair that I'm going to be using is the Kima braid it says that it's a Kanikalon, uh, Toyokalon type hair fiber, which I love Toyokalon hair. Um, I love, Toyokalon is the type of Kanikalon hair, and I love it because when you're doing crochet braids with Toyokalon hair, it lasts a whole lot longer than if you were just using a Kanikalon hair. Um, you know, everybody's familiar with free tress, and after you've had it for a while, it starts to tangle. It looks like a hot, ratchet mess after a while, okay? But the Toyokalon fibers really, really last, and they hold up, you know, for a month or longer uh, if you keep your hair maintained and taken care of. And, okay, so flame retardant, flame retardant, sound kind of, yeah. Um, chemo braid, and so it gives you pictures of the different type of hair that they provide. Uh, this one is the disco curl, and that's this right here. Light shining. Move it over this way. Okay. There we go. Disco curl. You can't really see that, but don't worry about that. So I'm using a number two, and I'm going to be using a number 33. So I've already separated my hair and this is what the uh, hair looks like when it's separated already and uh, you just have to do like this and just kind of let it uh, fall as it may because if you start pulling on it you'll have a big old dye in a raw umfufu type mess because the hair will tangle up real bad and you'll have big hair like big 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 but this is what the hair looked like before uh, you detangle it you know because it'll separate into these little bitty strands but for the most part it looks like these big lumpy curls like right here can you see that you can't see that um, so you just have to kind of shake it a little bit and then the pieces will come undone uh, like I said, that was a number two, and I'm doing a number 33. Uh, this brown hair, I did cut this in half, okay? So, okay, so, how many times am I going to say that? I mean, like, I just realized, I say that, like, at the beginning of every single cut. Alright, how about we do this? I have installed a couple strands of the hair, uh, just to give you an idea of what it looked like. And I'm going to show you the back, and then I'm going to get off of here, finish my head, and come back to you with a finished look. And like I said, this is the 33 Kima Braid made by Harlem uh, 125. This is with the hair cut in half, so you can kind of see the length of the hair. No? No way yet? Okay. Don't worry about that. Um, but I'm going to continue to do that and then put a little bit of the black hair in it. Uh, so far, I only have two packs, but I actually bought uh, three packs of the 33 and one pack of the number two. I don't plan on using all that hair. I really only anticipate using uh, two bags, okay? And then I want to let you know that this hair, uh, you can't really see the texture of it, or maybe you can. See, maybe you can. There we go. All right. Okay. We rolling texture okay 
this hair has a marley texture to it uh, it looks really really natural and it looked like your own hair that was one of the things that made me buy this hair I purchased it online for uh, four dollars and ninety nine cent whereas at the beauty supply store it was seven dollars and ninety nine cent so you do the math um, but yeah it looks really really natural you'll love the texture of this hair it's not uh, looking like the free trust stuff you know uh, it actually looked like the texture of a black person's hair hey guys I'm back I have finally finished my hair uh, my face is now beat because I don't do makeup like that so um, lipstick is all you're gonna get okay so I just want to show you that I finished my crochet braid and you can see that I did the halo braid in the front and I'm going to turn around so that you can see uh, how this looks and then I'm going to put my glasses back on because I just look crazy when I'm not wearing my glasses uh, then my eyebrows need to be arched and just ugh but anyway so check me out now I did um go ahead and cut this some because it was a little bit longer than what I wanted okay so now this is me with my glasses on but I didn't have my glasses on because you can see my light shining in my glasses you see computers shining in my glasses oh just be glad you don't have to wear glasses y'all then they all wopsided okay so this was the top part of my head but like I was saying before, uh, I did cut this a little bit. I um, It was like kind of down here. And I just trimmed it up and evened it a little bit. And then in the uh, back and the sides, I cut it in layers. So like I took sections. Okay, so last thing before I let you go, uh, I just need to make a few corrections. I told you that this was the color um, 33. It's not. It's the color 30. Uh... If this hair here is a color 30 and then the brown in this is a color 30 the black is a number two uh, because I use two different brands of hair you can kind of see a slight difference in um, texture along with uh, color according to brand so just when you do this style make sure you pay attention to that if it don't bother you then don't worry about it okay um, but this is my halo crochet braid my halo waterfall and again, please subscribe, like my page, leave your comments below. Again, my name is Nivia. I am with Twisted Kinks Natural Hair and Locks. If you'd like to book an appointment with me, um, you can do so at twistykinks.com. I will put that at the bottom of the page. Uh, my phone number is 501-313-1689. You're more than welcome to contact me. And stay tuned for my next video. Mwah.